Hey everybody, it's Jordan here with Major Hi-Fi, back with another review. Today we've got the Mini Shangri-La electrostatic system from Hi-Fi Man in. But first, uh, if you like what you're seeing here on the Major Hi-Fi channel, definitely like and subscribe. It helps us out and it will help you get more videos just like this directly into your feed. Now you might remember we just reviewed the Sasfara Unveiled from Hi-Fi Man, their flagship planar magnetic headphone, and we were thoroughly impressed. But that's not really where the high-end ends with Hi-Fi Man. You've got the Shangri-La Senior, the Shangri-La Junior, and now the Mini Shangri-La, all electrostatic systems. Uh, and the Shangri-La Senior, for example, can top out at $50,000 for the whole system. But today, with the Mini Shangri-La, we're getting some of that trickle-down electrostatic technology all in one or two really nice packages. So let's just dive right into this review with the Mini Shangri-La headphone and amplifier and see what it's all about. In the box, or boxes, you get the Mini Shangri-La electrostatic headphones, the electrostatic headphone amplifier, and the power cable. Now the Mini Shangri-La actually shares a lot of design features from some of its other headphones. For example, the headband is similar to that of the Edition XS planar magnetic headphone, um, although it is beefed up a little bit more and a little bit more durable, and of course it says Mini Shangri-La right there on it. And then the amplifier resembles the EF400, which is an older amplifier from Hi-Fi Man. Both of these are different than those earlier models, but it just calls into the same design language that Hi-Fi Man has been doing for quite some time. Now the headphones themselves are super lightweight, but they do still feel durable. Uh, and that lightweight design makes them feel really comfortable for long periods of time. I was wearing this for hours without really noticing they were on. Um, sometimes the ear pads got a little bit hot, like all headphones do, and that's when I started to feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be wearing these for hours on end. But for the most part, they're extremely comfortable and they feel like you don't have headphones on. And if you remember in the Sasfara Unveiled, we were talking about a headphone that makes you feel like you're not listening to a headphone. And I think Hi-Fi Man is taking that same approach to these. They want you to feel like you've got nothing on your head, like you're just fully engrossed in the music. So both the headphones and the amplifier feel like really well-built products. Um, I've got really nothing to complain about this Amplifier is a beast. It's heavy. It's not like incredibly heavy, but it's sturdy. It's robust. The headphone feels good. So you're getting what you pay for for sure with this headphone system. Now we already covered that the Mini Shangri-La is an electrostatic headphone, but let's get more in the weeds on the headphone's design. The standout feature of the Mini Shangri-La is its advanced diaphragm coating, which uses a nanoparticle layer. This coating ensures accurate connectivity and stability, making for a wider soundstage ultimately. But it also helps provide a pretty wide dynamic range as well. Additionally, the headphones have a nanometer protection layer, which helps prevent things like humidity or dust particles or other things from damaging the headphones in any way. So. Going back into the build quality and the design, they all kind of work together to make this a really durable and long-lasting headphone. Getting into the amplifier, it uses an all-solid state design, which means there's no transformers, which can introduce distortion into the signal chain. By sending voltage from the power output transistors, the amplifier maintains a clean signal path, preserving audio integrity. The amplifier also employs an advanced power supply and filtering system. Its linear power supply and discrete filtering system virtually eliminates distortion, making for a pristine signal path. So again, Hi-Fi Man is looking for a completely clean sound, something really, really reference sounding. On top of that, the fully balanced design eliminates any other noise that might get into the signal. So all around, you can be sure that Hi-Fi Man is making sure that this system is protected against all forms of noise, distortion, or any pollutants that might lessen the quality of the audio in any way. Um, it's a pretty impressive design from Hi-Fi Man, especially at this price point, um, leaning into the budget restraints, going for solid state unlike tubes like they do on their higher end electrostatic systems. Um, this is a completely unique system built to be affordable and bring you some of the highest quality audio at the price range that it possibly can. 
Now getting into sound impressions, we will start with the bass response as always. So the mini Shangri-La has a really fast and technically precise low end. So you're getting really fast hits, really nice decay, and just a general sense of precision that I can't really think of other headphones in this price range that can do this level of precision. Um, I was listening to Kendrick Lamar's DNA and I was just really taken aback by how quick and clean the bass response is. Now, there's more mid bass than sub bass. You're not gonna get that deep slam and impact that some other headphones can do. But if you prefer like technical abilities over sheer volume of bass, then this is gonna be a really nice headphone for you. I think you're gonna really like how clean it sounds and how fast it sounds. Then we have the mid range, which is just incredibly clean and clear. And layering is especially impressive. Again, for the price range, it really takes me aback how well it separates vocals and instruments and other mid-range layers. Um, and we'll get into this in a little bit, but also how it spreads it across the soundstage and how it images these sounds. Pretty much everything is well articulated. I can hear every little detail of the mid-range. But again, getting into nitpicks like the bass response, it's very detail and technical oriented. So you're not getting that warm musical feeling that you might get with other headphones. But again, if you really care about technicalities, detail retrieval, and that type of clean presentation, again, at this price point, not a lot of headphones are doing what this headphone is doing. Then finally getting into the top end, I was really impressed with how they implemented a smoother treble response into this. With such a technically precise headphone, you could maybe run the risk of getting a little bit shrill and a little bit hollow, but the treble response actually complements the mid-range and bass really nicely and brings things back to a more musical presentation. Um, it's a little bit smoother, a little bit more delicate, and it doesn't hit you over the head with the detail that it's presenting. So yeah, it really rounds out the sound of the headphone quite nicely. I was really impressed. And then finally, we'll get into the sound stage of the headphone, which again is downright impressive. Sounds are all over the place. It's completely immersive, completely tactile. It honestly reminds me of the sound stage of the Sisvara and Sisvara Unveiled, but again, obviously at a much lower price point. I think the soundstage is probably my favorite part of this headphone. I love the physicality of some of the sounds that you're getting in the soundstage. It's not just placing the sounds in different images, but it's also giving a really visceral feeling as well. Something that you can really only get on the highest end headphones. So yeah, soundstage on the Mini Shangri-La is really good. So all in all, despite my minor nitpicks in the bass and mid-range, this is a pretty remarkable headphone. It presents a pretty unprecedented value um, for an electrostatic system. A Stax has some similarly priced systems, but just the overall package that Hi-Fi Man's delivering here really took me aback. I think that its precise sound and comprehensive system design makes it a really good system for someone who wants to jump into a higher realm of fidelity to do just an all-in-one purchase. Like if I had $2,500 to spend and I wasn't sure which headphone and amplifier to get, I might just opt for this whole system. Of course, you will still need a DAC, so don't forget that, that part of it. But overall, as a system, highly recommend. So if you're looking for something that's really precise, really technical, um, and comes in at a pretty good value, I think that the Mini Shangri-La is a great place to look. So that just about does it for today's review. Again, I'm Jordan with Major Hi-Fi, and if you could, like and subscribe down below. It helps our channel out, and it'll help you get more videos like this right into your feed. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.